Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh here, and I got a quick game. Actually, no, it's quite a long game. Why did I say quick? Uh, it's a long game on Domination Bailout. I was actually going for the nuke, but I do not succeed at getting it, but I still get a high score, nevertheless. And actually, one thing that I don't really say too often, but I've never actually ever got a nuke. No, no matter, like, I don't really try for them ever, but you'll see in this gameplay I was trying for one. But... First of all, I never try for him. Uh, I know a little lame excuse, just never try for him. Uh, well, yeah, I don't really try for him. I never did when I played Modern Warfare 2. I was never actually a good player of Modern Warfare 2 until just like recently-ish. Um, my KD in that game was only like 1.1 or something. I basically started getting good at Black Ops, and then you know, started to get frustrated at the game of Black Ops, and you come back to this. So. This was a pretty decent score. Uh, I think it was 54 and 9, so I broke 50. I was happy about that because I don't usually get scores like that in Modern Warfare 2. But anyways, this video is actually not going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2. It's going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 and the alleged perks and kill streaks and death streaks that are supposed to be in the game. These are just alleged, not yet confirmed, but alleged. So let's take a look at these. First of all, I'll put a link to this forum in the description, by the way. Uh, first of all, um, the kill streaks I'll be running probably will be well. I'm not sure if you can only choose three or uh, yeah, you can only choose three. But you get three different tiers of kill streaks allegedly, and there are different kill streaks in them. I'll probably run with. Uh, let's see, probably Predator Missile at 5 kills, Little Bird Flock at 7, so 5-7, and then maybe, like, either the Juggernaut Suit, because Juggernaut Suit is awesome, or the, probably the AC-130, I love the AC-130, you'll see in this game I use the AC-130, uh, basically just, it's awesome. Uh, so I'll probably run with that, something like that, either that or if I'm feeling really risky, I'll go Mortar Team, AC-130, and then Juggernaut Suit. I'm doing really good. Uh, probably won't use the support kill streaks at all, but if I do, I will probably go. Uh, well, if I'm playing team deathmatch, I'll go. I'll use the five kill streak ballistic double to help out my team. Um, also, then I might go the blackbird and perhaps the escort airdrop, something like that. Uh, the support kill streaks just don't look quite as good. I don't know. I'll probably run with assault or the specialist because specialist it looks really cool. You get just three extra perks by the sixth kill, and I will definitely be using that a lot because that's like your own one man army right there. You don't even need the one man army perk. So, so we're done with the kill streaks. But next is the alleged perks. So in tier one we have extreme conditioning, sleight of hand, scavenger, blind eye, and recon. So what I'd probably use from that little tier right there is either extreme conditioning, sleight of hand, yeah I'd probably run with either extreme conditioning or sleight of hand, probably sleight of hand, although I am a rusher so I might use extreme conditioning at times, but with this perk choice I think that sleight of hand is probably the better choice. So moving on to tier number two we have hardline, assassin, overkill, quick draw, and blast shield. Now I think that quick draw will probably be the perk for the snipers that they will be liking because then you can quick scope. Uh, so if I ever use the sniper, I'll probably use quick draw. Um, if I use any other gun, though, I'll probably run with. Well, the description of assassin is that you're immune to UAV, motion sensor, thermal, and heartbeat sensor, and CUAV. So I guess that, wait, is that Blackbird? I think no, it's not. Uh, and the EMP, so that's a lot of things, but you know that sounds like ghost, so I'm not going to use it. So in that case, I'll probably be using either overkill, because two primary weapons is just amazing, and that way you don't have to use scavenger, uh, or I will use quick draw when I'm sniping, maybe some other times. Blast shield seems pretty like powerful so I'll either use blast shield overkill or hardline and quick draw on snipers but it looks like tier 2 is gonna be quite the OP perks right there and finally we got tier 3 
which includes Sit Rep, Dead Silence, Stalker, Marksman, and Steady Aim. So I think we all know the as we all know the desired perk right here that everybody will know that the want um, if if this game has the same sound engine as Modern Warfare 2, everybody's gonna run Dead Silence, and if you're not running that, you're gonna get killed a lot. So Marksman, I like the idea there. It seems sort of like Bad Company 2, but you know, Dead Silence seems like the way to go. So Dead Silence for sure. Uh, not Sit Rep. Not Steady Game. Stalker seems kind of dumb. I think that would probably. I think Stalker would just probably mess up my uh, aiming actually because I'd be moving faster while aiming down sights and I wouldn't be used to that. So I wouldn't be using those. Dead Silence for the win. Now the next thing we've got here on the list is the Death Streaks. So personally I don't want to see Death Streaks come back, but I guess they are. So first off we've got Juice which is lightweight at 4 deaths, which I really think should be a perk and not a Death Streak because I like being able to move around the map really quick and I love Russian. So that's a 4 death. don't think that'll be used too much. Martyrdom. Four deaths. Hopefully, it's not as bad as COD 4, and it's more like Modern Warfare 2's murder dump, so that wasn't very good. Next, we've got Final Stand at four deaths. That could be a bit overpowered, but yeah. I think I'll get a bit mad at that. Uh, Revenge sounds even worse, though. At five deaths, you get last person that killed you is always visible on your mini map. So that sounds like a good way to kill people that are on kill streaks, and that those people would be me. So I'll be dying a lot from Revenge. Thank you. Infinity Ward uh, for these alleged death streaks. Some power is next at five deaths, allegedly, and you get it for one kill. Uh, and finally, at six deaths, uh, you got Dead Man's Hand, and you run around with C4 in your hand as a suicide bomber, which really sounds like the javelin glitch from Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why you're bringing that back, allegedly, if um, that actually got patched in Modern Warfare 2. So. The last thing I'm going to talk about is some nice combinations of perks here. Uh, so, if you have the pro perks, let's let's say you have all the pro perks. So, I think a good combination would be sleight of hand, uh, blast shield, and I'm going to say sit rep would be a good that that would be a good class that I'd use. I think. That way I could reload faster, switch weapons faster. I'd have flak jacket and I'd be immune to stuns and flashes. And my footsteps are silent. That's a pretty good class. Now if I was sniping, I think I would probably use... Maybe... I'm gonna say blind eye, even though it's ghostish. Um, blind eye... Um, let's go with quick draw, because then I can quick scope and possibly steady aim but I will likely use dead silence if I want to play search or something so if I play search I'll be using that and probably my main SMG class will be extreme conditioning with quick draw probably or overkill I could put like no I'd probably put that in an assault class I'd go assault rifle and a shotgun as my secondary that way I could just yeah, be like overkill from COD 4 and World of War. And so for my SMB class it would be extreme conditioning, quick draw, and probably dead silence so I could just move around the map all quiet and stuff. Now the description for extreme conditioning does say sprint longer distances and then plus climb obstacles faster. I really hope that by longer distances they mean like unlimited sprint because really Call of Duty should have that built in by now. But anyways guys, this game is coming to an end, my final score is 54-9, and hope you've enjoyed these alleged Modern Warfare 3 perks and killstreaks and death streaks. So leave a like rating if you've enjoyed it, and spread it around. So thanks guys, and bye.